Okay, YouTube, this is Acid Roots. I have a album review, which is Nickelback's Dark Horse. Now, I just reviewed their 2005 album, All the Right Reasons, and that one was a particular smash. had more than five singles on it, and it kind of balanced them between pop rock and hard rock. And when this happens... <clears throat> They'll usually release more than five or six singles, but the thing is, is they balance them out evenly, so it's not just all metal and alternative metal and that sort of thing. It's also some things that you're going to catch on the Billboard Hot 100 and, you know, things that people would hear if they just listened to basic radio. Now, they did this again on Dark Horse, and I think this one was actually larger than all the right reasons it may not it may not have had a song like i think animal or animals where it hit number two on the billboard but basically the same success wound up happening because all of these songs charted pretty well so the new song that's the lead single has got to be somebody and that hit number 10 and <clears throat> it's actually a decent song you know i the, the difference with me is once things start going too pop and more for like commercial rock and that sort of thing, I kind of lose interest. But this one actually, this one held well and it's a balance of a song. It's kind of like the same thing with other genres. You know, if it gets too, you know, commercialized, it becomes less interesting. But this one did it. You know, it held the balance really well and I had no problem with that first song that was released to rock radio stations was something in your mouth and this one has you know that one's definitely a fiercer song than gotta be somebody and this would probably be one of the songs i'd say to start with if you're new to nickelback it's it's probably one i mean all these songs nickelback has a pretty big catalog so I'm trying to remember all these this is one to, to mess with again if today was your last day, the next single was, I think there was some acoustic guitar in there. There's like three out of the eight songs that were released as singles that I did not mess with, and they were, if today was your last day, I'd come for you and never going to be alone. Uh, well, there were four, and then the other one was This Afternoon. So all of those songs that I just mentioned, the thing about those is they aim for the pop rock charts, so you're going to be hearing them if you listen to like regular radio, places where you'd hear Taylor Swift and Katy Perry and Adele. You know you're going to hear Nickelback in some traces with some of those songs. I'm not. I, it's hard to remember the charting appeal of each and every one of these, but I think if today was your last day, it was a pretty high charting song. I come for you with some other ones. So. These are just some of the ones that did that, but I'm going to pay more attention to the rock songs. So Burn It to the Ground was the next one, and that one is just like something in your mouth. Definitely has the idea of, a, a, I guess you could say, upbeat and full-functioning metal song. So both of these, you know, they're released right at the beginning of the album, so you get right to the main action and it's worthwhile you know it definitely is but me liking three singles out of eight there was actually a fourth one that kind of has some traces of southern rock and that was shaking hands now i'm still getting used to southern rock i've, I've listened to kid rock somewhat and saliva maybe a couple others but it's new so i'm taking this and i'm thinking you know it's actually pretty well-rounded so four out of eight singles basically means that's enough for a regular album but still you know it just it kind of balances the whole thing so it, it's got something for most folks so that's one thing to consider and but obviously there's more songs than just those four songs so out of eight there was actually 11 songs released so the three songs that were not released as singles. Next go around just to get high in sex. Well, I liked two songs out of the remaining. So that boosted it up to six out of eleven. Sex and next go around were basically 
those were mid-tempo songs, just a, a slightly calmer version of Burn It to the Ground and Something in Your Mouth. So those are some more hits to go for. I kind of wish they would have released Sex as a single and taken off maybe this afternoon or if today was your last day. I mean, there, there were some songs that they could have just made this a complete power outing, but it, you know, that's the thing is, I guess it has to be multifaceted, and I think that that's the problem is it, you know, this album did go multi-platinum, I believe, and so it's it's really not I'm not complaining as much as you think I am. I mean I appreciate this music pretty well, but you know I do kind of wish that there would have been a Nickelback alternative metal song like their earlier days, and a a just plain metal song like something that Godsmack or um I'm trying to look for another name of a band saluting me right now. Like, yeah, Godsmack, Papa Roach, some of these folks do. Um, Power Man 5000. So, between that, this album is going to get me liking 6 out of 11. I will give this album a 6 out of 10, possibly a 6.5. If there had just been one more song, it would probably go to like a 7.5. I mean, it was really close. The social score will obviously get a 10 because there were 8 singles, and that just doesn't happen too often. I mean, this came out in late 2008 and was basically here until 2010. So that's a good 18 months that it was around. And so the social score means how well it plays around your friends if you if this is new to them. And so basically, yeah, this is a hit, but I guess I'm just being greedy by wanting more than four singles that I'd like. So it's like, here's four for pop here's four for metal and you just have to kind of lace them together and decide what you like of the lot but so that's what happened and can this record be topped i, I suppose the answer is it could by just a hair by for the reasons i just said but you know the future i think nickelback dropped an album in 2014 so we'll probably be hearing from them again pretty soon. I'd say maybe third or fourth quarter of this year and they'll be here. So that's, you know, I'm going to review it when it happens. So I'm definitely not going to say, like, this isn't going to get reviewed. But all right, subscribe for more fun. Nickelback, Dark Horse.